Yo, how's it been everybody? It's been quite some time. Yeah, I did it again. So as many of you guys may know, I've been gone for quite, quite a long time. Um, it wasn't easy to make that decision back then. Uh, meaning that I had to leave for quite some time to get my life sorted out. As you all may know, I go by the name Armando or Killer743 in Dead Frontier. Uh, I've been doing Dead Frontier for so long now I can't even remember at what age I started. I do know I started in middle school. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not here to reminisce my past. Um, in the time that I've been gone, guys, a lot has happened in the two years. You know, a lot has happened. But let me explain why I left in the first place, okay? Why I went on such a long hiatus. As you all may know, I'm no longer under my you know 20s i'm not a young guy anymore i'm not a young king anymore so it basically gets a bit tough to really just play games upload and you know just sort of survive off of that if that makes any sense don't get me wrong guys i love youtube i love uploading and i love editing but of course when you play the same game for so many years you also will burn out and especially in a game that kind of for better lack of words it kind of did lack content for a while but obviously i'm not coming back because there's more content or there's more like more features more things to play on i came back because every time i came home from work i've always wondered what else i can do instead of just coming home eat and game you know that's that's it but anyway back to the reason why i went on hiatus and why i left my discord and why i left my youtube channel and why i left the frontier for so long is because i got to a point in life where i wanted to basically be more in other words as every person here knows male or female there comes a point in your life where you want to be something rather than just be the same thing for the rest of your life and in that case i wanted to have a career i wanted to get my life back on track you see when I was doing that Frontier, there wasn't really a lot going on with me. I just worked at a dead-end job, I got home, I just hung out with friends, I gamed, I just hit the gym and woke up, rinse and repeat, and that was basically my life. I wanted to feel like I was doing something where I felt fulfilled, where I came home from work and I just felt happy with everything. Of course, it wasn't going to be easy. And in turn, when you decide to do something else with your life, the focus on which you were back then it was going to take a lot of sacrifice and in turn my focus was basically diverted from that old past life i had to the new one when i left death frontier i met a wonderful girl and with that wonderful girl i saw a future but obviously in order to live in this damn economy you know i live in america where gas is now four dollars a gallon and food is up the bahuha i needed to be something more in order for us to have the happy life that i've always wanted and upload videos without having much pressure behind my back so what did I do? I went to trade school to be an electrician. And let me tell you something, those nine months of straight on trade school was one of the hardest things I've done in a while because, well, you're carrying heavy tools, waking up at 6 a.m. to be to school at 7 or 8 a.m. I already forgot the timing. And then you're there for like six hours, you know, getting your, your skills down. And of course, the boring lectures of how to do stuff. But at the same time, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I really did. It was a new skill I was learning. I was enjoying every second of it. And I felt like I was finally going somewhere. So I was doing trade school and I was also working a job while I was in trade school because obviously trade school isn't free. And I was focusing my time on my now fiance. <laughs> fiance Armando? Yes, fiance, but we'll get you that eventually. So time skip nine months later, I finished trade school and I needed to get a job, aka a career. Where is Armando going to go to be using this diploma? You know, obviously I graduated. And eventually my now fiance tells me, hey, go for this company. You know, I'm not going to name the company because I don't want you guys looking it up and finding me out. <laughs> but she suggested a company and I was so, so hesitant because this company was basically a state known company you know where i live everybody knows this company it's a very good company they only take the best from what i've read and they're very competitive you know because they pay well and you know eventually i went for it i had nothing to lose i just graduated and i wanted to get something in that field and i applied to everything geez i applied to everything and while every other job was basically denying me or they were paying crap because again i was a brand new student with a diploma and I just graduated, so they want to take advantage of the little guy. You know, hey, this kid is new, you know, he's young, paying crap. And obviously, I denied a lot of um, companies because, again, I didn't want to get paid for the BS that they were offering me, and I knew what I was worth. And six months later, I get a call from the company that me and my fiance, well, my fiance suggested, and can you believe that they were offering me an opportunity? An opportunity that I had never seen coming, not even a million miles away, but my fiance was always there. And eventually, I got 
the position and it was the best feeling in the world guys I cannot explain how it felt and, I, and by this time it's been already a year and five months since I uploaded on YouTube so yeah it's been quite a while guys but anyway I got the job and basically it was just amazing it was everything I could have ever wished for and, and and more honestly it was just incredible I finally was in a position where I no longer had to be afraid of not making enough money where I could honestly survive every month and I worry that oh my god if I ever you know me and my fiance ever move out how are we gonna pay the bills how are we gonna eat how are we gonna pay this and that you know that was just pretty much gone there was no more of that fear and for the first time in my life guys i felt like i was something in this world and i couldn't have felt more on top of the world you know and eventually six months later after that you know after working at my company for five months i paid off every debt that i had because i was in deep deep debt guys you know working in a dead-end job while going to trade school isn't going to pay the bills and i was definitely going into debt you know but after five months with this company i was able to pay off all my debts and buy a ring for my now fiance and about more a bit more than a month ago we got engaged and i am now an engaged man that's pretty much happily together with a woman i never thought existed either so in two years a lot has happened and we're now planning on getting married next year and it's just been an incredible journey for me and honestly i never would have seen this coming but again in order for me to have reached this point in my life i've had to leave that frontier altogether and youtube you know and patreon and my discord server and this is where i come in and say i'm very sorry for all this guys i didn't just leave just because i got bored with the game i left because i was under so much pressure to figure something out in my life where i no longer had to fear again where I no longer had to feel pressured by daily things that, you know, us adults deal with every single day. You know, I started YouTube when I was 12 and now I'm 26, going on to 27 next year. So, yeah, time has really flew by. But now, again, I got everything that I always wanted. I have a fiance, I have a career. When I get home, I want to do this again. You know, I want to come home and edit videos, all right? Obviously, I'm not going to promise three times a week uploads. I'm basically going to just try to upload once a week or twice. I will promise that. But when you just leave like that, a lot of people get confused and they think that you just quit I mean it's been what almost two years or it has been two years I've lost track of time in this time that I've been gone and in turn I really did disappoint a lot of people you know especially my admins from my uh, discord especially you my fans and especially a lot of people that pretty much were looking forward to my videos every single day you know I understand that you know when a creator leaves it kind of sucks because again judging by the views that I've pretty much seen when I came back to my YouTube channel in so long I was very just like surprised to see 7,000 8,000 9,000 views like I, I really did leave something behind and well again I just I just wasn't focused in that time of my life because again after explaining everything that I've been through your mind just diverts somewhere else but recently I got in a very bad motor vehicle accident and being home all day I realized that I do need a hobby I need to work on something I need to do something that I love you know and Eventually, I found YouTube again, and I really can't wait to go back into it. Whether or not you guys forgive me, I know that'll take time. I've done this so many times already, three times, four times, because again, when you play a game for 15 years, 14 years, it's going to be very hard to be focused on that game. But guys, really, I will try my utmost best this time to really just stay. Um, and really, again, for those that stuck around, thank you for sticking around. For those that left, I hope to get you back one day. I know it's going to be hard to gain your trust especially again when I left for so long. But for me, I'll do YouTube because not only do I love YouTube, but I love editing, I love gaming. And again, I'll still do that Frontier and I'll also throw in some other games in there as well. But yeah, guys, um, I'm back. I will try my best to upload once a week, max two times a week, because again, now I have a fiance, a job. But again, I love this. I've always loved editing. I've always loved gaming. And I've always loved interacting with you guys. You guys are always the reason why I come back to this game. And why I always come back to YouTube. Because you guys have always made this journey with, you know, YouTube and Death Frontier and everything else very, very feasible. And as always, very loving. To those in my Discord, Possessed Skull, and my other admins. Again, I'm sorry for leaving the way I did. I wish I could have explained more things more easily. But... I didn't just want to say, hey, I'll try to upload or, you know, at that point, my mind was just made up and I needed to focus on these other things. Yeah, if you guys stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Um, I love you guys and I can't wait. I'm going to be uploading the next video 
probably two days after this one, three days. Um, and I hope you guys look forward to it. I'm very excited, and I'll be making sure I give the best edits and the best care in this one to kind of just make it up for you guys. Not for the last series, but make it up to kind of just slowly make it up for you guys for leaving for so long. Anyway, that's Hermione signing off, and yeah, see y'all in the next one.